Well, welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to Cooking with Jen. It's Jen and Shelby. Maybe eventually, if she keeps being in these videos, it will be Cooking with Jen and Shelby. Anyway, we are a little tired this morning. It is early, and what better way than a quick pick-me-up? No, not a cup of coffee. We are gonna make some candy bacon that will have enough sugar and sweetness to knock your socks off. I have here is a pound of bacon. I have it on a cooling rack you would use for your pies on top of the cookie sheet. And I have foil. Remember, we're all about the easy cleanup. The ingredients you need for this candy bacon is one fourth cup packed brown sugar, two tablespoons rice vinegar, two tablespoons maple syrup, ground black pepper to taste, I'm not a fan of black pepper, so I'm skipping that little addition. One pound thick cut bacon. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Bacon's gonna cook approximately 35 minutes or until crispy, depending on what kind of bacon you use. I'm using a thick cut bacon from where folks, my local butcher shop, which has amazing bacon. So because there's not all those additives, it doesn't last a year like some bacons. Um, it doesn't take as long to cook. That being said, we are going to roll it around in our deliciousness here. Okay, so now everything is done. All her bacon is slathered. Now, the extra treat was actually just some extra brown sugar. I'm just gonna sprinkle and you already can rub it in, you know, whatever. After I rinse my hands, we're gonna put them in the oven because my oven is done. It's preheated, ready to go, 350 degrees. I'm gonna pop it on in. And like I said, uh, depending on how long you like your bacon, how crispy you like your bacon, we are gonna check this. I set 35 minutes, so we're gonna, I'm gonna set my timer for about, how about 17.5 minutes? A quick little intermission with Prince. I just want to say you guys should definitely subscribe to this channel because we are so close to 200 subscribers, which is our goal by the end of the month. If you like cooking or baking, or you know anybody that likes cooking or baking, you should definitely subscribe and like this video. Okay, so my timer just went off. Woo! That maple syrup hit you and in a good way. So remember, it's not gonna be done. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a pair of tongs and I'm gonna flip my bucket. Now that it's flipped, I'm just gonna do a drizzle. Candy on the beach, that's nothing better. Like now it's just gonna go back in the oven for about another 17 minutes. Remember, it all depends on how crispy you like your bacon. Okay, folks, so my timer went off and it's time to look and check the bacon. Oh my goodness, not only does that maple smell hit ya, that's a good thing. Look at all that bubbly caramelization going on. Can you see it? We're gonna let it cool now. I know you're gonna wanna stick that hot piece of bacon in your mouth, which is something I would do. And then I would do it again and say, ow, this is hot and keep eating it. But I am going to save everyone the agony of watching me burn my mouth. And I'm going to let it cool. Now you don't really need to pat the grease like you would normally do when you fry bacon because this is a little different. Okay, and as it sits and cools, it is gonna get crispy. It's gonna crisp up just a bit. If you like it really crispy, Put it in for another five minutes. I like just that perfect. All right, now what I have done here, I just put all my bacon on a sheet because I do not want all this juiciness to drip off to go to waste. So all I'm gonna do while it's going, I'm gonna drizzle it on and let it set. Can't wait to try this. Let's get a close up. Mm. <laughs> This definitely knocked my socks off. 10 out of 
Next time you see her, her socks will be <laughs> off. 10 out of 10, I definitely recommend. Hi guys, there you go, my version of candy bacon. Super easy, super simple, super easy cleanup with that foil. This, you don't have to have it just for breakfast with your eggs. You can put it on a burger. You can put it in your burger meat and make bacon burgers. You can put it on your sandwich. You can just eat it plain. There is so many things you can do with candy bacon. And with that, on that note, I think the sugar and the maple woke me right up. <laughs> Thanks again. You're watching Cooking with Jen. I'm Jen. Be kind and subscribe. And who knows what kind of sugary surprise we will have for next time. I'm Peppa Pig. This is my little brother George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> <laughs>